Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how you can use all your old CC3 content like clothing, shirts and shorts and whatnot on the new CC3 base plus characters. So as you may know there is a difference in topology between the traditional CC3 characters and CC3 base plus characters and we're going to talk about how you can conform the clothing so that it fits on the new characters. Uh, Alright, so we have a uh, little model on the screen right now. What we're going to do is we're going to apply some old uh, content to her. I'm going to use my smart gallery here and just go into uh, clothing. Uh, we're going to go into skirts, or rather shirts rather. And under shirts I have a content pack called uh, Anarchy here uh, up at the top. I'm just going to apply a couple of things from that. Let's go ahead and do that uh, right off the bat. Let's apply this uh, shirt. And uh, we're going to just go ahead and keep cloth shape for now. We're going to talk about the other uh, option a little bit later. So we're going to use this keep shirt uh, right now. And then we're going to apply the uh, pants. And same thing. And then we will apply the uh, corset right after that. And there you go. And same option. And finally, we'll just apply some boots after that. And we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, issue on the shoulders of the character there. You can see it already. Um, after we apply the boots, we'll get to fixing that. And we're going to fix it in, this, in, the, most, in the easiest way possible. All right, so we're pretty much good to go here. All right, she gets a lot taller. <laughs> All right, let's focus on the shoulder area right here. You can see there's a breakage of mesh. And generally the easiest way to, uh, to fix that is you can go over to your uh, Modify tab under Attributes and go to Conform and then Calculate Collision. Now, uh, Calculate Collision isn't going to work in this case since we just applied it basically and we need to modify the mesh manually. So what I need to do is make sure I have that selected. Okay, make sure you have the, the shirt selected. You can go to your scene manager as well and make sure you have the shirt selected from there. And then go up here and we're going to conform. We're going to edit the mesh rather. And we're going to do some manual mesh editing. Now you can select vertex, face. Uh, you can select elements or you can sculpt. We're going to kind of explore a couple of these as we move along here. Um, I'm just going to use vertex selection and make sure you have soft selection on. And I'm going to select this area right here. And you can see we need to increase the radius. So we'll just go ahead and increase that radius just like this. And just kind of select an area on top of the shoulders in the middle there. And I'm going to control and click on this side and do the same thing on this side as well. All right. And then I'm going to press the W hotkey and I'm going to raise both the meshes on both sides here. You can see the left one uh, works pretty well. And then I just need to kind of modify this one by itself on the right here. This one's a little too high. And maybe a little bit down here. It needs to be stretched out a little bit there. And you can also even rotate it. You can press the E hotkey and rotate the mesh. So it, that works like this. And let's zoom in a little bit closer there. And let's just make a smaller radius. And so we can focus on that little area there. All right. Bring that out individually. Okay. Uh, there we go. But now you can see we have another issue. If we uh, go, to, go out of edit mesh mode here, we have another issue where we basically kind of uh, raise that uh, shirt right through the strap of our, uh, our clothing there. So the easiest way to fix that is just make sure you have the, the strap selected. Or in this case, it's called a corset. Again, you can go to the scene manager to make sure you have it selected. Go to modify and conform. And this time, because we've modified the other mesh, this time the, uh, the uh, conform, the calculate collision is going to work just fine. So let's go ahead and calculate collision there. And there you can see that strap issue is resolved there. All right, working just fine. And I think our character, uh, the shirt looks fine from that point on. And what you can do as well, if you want to calculate collision on all your objects at once, you can simply go up to uh, the modify here and go to cloth layer settings. And there's an option to run collision on individual items from here as well. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and close that down for now. Okay, in this next scenario, we're gonna talk about fit body shape. So I'm gonna apply some different uh, clothing to my character. We're going to go down to uh, clothing once again here and under uh, shirts we'll find another one called uh, down here hypnotic lingerie okay so we're going to apply a couple of lingerie items to our character i'm just going to apply this shirt uh, right now i'm going to apply it using keep cloth shape okay and i'm going to talk about the fit body shape in just a moment and I'll, we'll take a look at the, uh, the difference after this okay so we'll apply that and uh, once we have that on we're okay now let's apply the uh, the skirt here as well so we have this uh, skirt and uh, for this one, I'm going to just keep cloth shape as well. And then we will apply the uh, gloves and the stockings as well. So the stockings right here. And uh, we'll go ahead and just apply uh, the regular key body shape. And then we will apply the uh, gloves. So the gloves won't, it won't ask us for an option to keep the, uh, the body shape for the gloves. We'll just apply it uh, right, right off the bat. 
And you can see right here, as soon as that finishes applying, there's going to be quite a few like uh, issues you can see on the side there, on the on the legs, uh, on the upper thigh right there. There's a lot of mesh breakages, all right? And we're just going to go ahead and delete this uh, bikini um, since we don't need it anymore. Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to apply the, uh, the shirt uh, section here. We're going to apply that once again, and this time we're going to uh, replace it. We're going to use the fit body shape option, okay? So fit body shape is generally used for clothing that's, you know, uh, tight fitting, like skin tight, uh, like superhero suits or stuff like laundry like we have right now. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. And for the shirt, I'm going to use the default uh, setting, the def default preset here, because that's the one that's built for uh, shirts and, and shorts. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And you'll see this one looks similar, but all we have to do now is go to our modified tab and go to conform, and I'm going to recalculate collision. And that'll resolve most of the issues. We still have this little bit popping out on the bottom, so we'll just go ahead and use Edit Mesh. And I'm going to just select this. Uh, we can actually just use the Sculpt tool in this case and uh, bring it out using the uh, Pull and just kind of boop. There we go. Problem solved. All right. So that's uh, all we have to do with the uh, with the top there. I'm going to apply. I'm going to do the same thing for the uh, skirt. So we're going to go back to our Smart Gallery here and apply it from the Smart Gallery. We'll use the uh, skirt here and replace. And we're going to fit body shape. Okay, and this time we're going to use dress. Okay, so this dress uh, preset is more suitable for that. So go ahead and press okay. And you'll see definitely on the bottom there, the, uh, the there's a lot of improvement along the bottom. And what I wanna do here is focus on this upper thigh area. And again, that can easily be fixed uh, just by simply going up to uh, the uh, modify tab and we're going to edit the mesh one more time. And let's just use the uh, Vertex tool again with soft selection. So we're going to select this area here. I want to increase that radius. Let's go ahead and do that. Oops, there we go. Uh, maybe not that far down. Something like this will do. And uh, just bring it out like this and kind of move down here and bring it out slowly section by section. Okay, you don't want to go too extreme. Um, just kind of pull where it needs to be pulled. Okay, there, right there I think we're fine. Maybe a little bit more on this side there. Okay, and then you can see that uh, down here, maybe there's a little bit uh, jagged. The uh, the mesh is a little bit jagged. So in this case, what you can do is use the smooth uh, option under sculpt uh, and use the uh, smooth right here and just kind of uh, maybe want to increase that radius a little bit. And just kind of smooth that out, bring it down slightly so it's not so jagged. And you'll be able to see the mesh slowly uh, smooth out and look a lot better. Okay, not so jagged anymore. All right, and you can also increase the strength if you want and go wild. I'm not going to go too crazy on this, though. I think that looks uh, fine. It's not as jagged as it was before. All right, so problem solved right there. Let's take a quick look at the gloves here. So the gloves, there's a little bit of an issue on the uh, on the upper uh, upper palm here, or upper uh, hand, rather, and the, and the arms. Uh, what I'm going to do for the gloves is something slightly different. We're going to transfer skin weights. So I'm going to go ahead and select those gloves. Uh, make sure, again, they're selected in the scene manager. Uh, okay, good to go. And there's an option here that transfers skin weights. And what you can do here is you can use some skin weight presets. So here we have some for gloves, for shoes, other, and everything like that. I'm going to use the gloves one here, and we'll just go ahead and apply that. And you can see, uh, yeah, it already has gloves, no worries. We're just going to try it again here and press OK. And there you go. The issue is resolved on the upper hand there, definitely. Uh, maybe a little bit of breakage here on uh, on up here and down here. And again, there's a couple ways you can resolve that. The easiest way is to conform. And you can actually increase the size of the gloves slightly, just like this. And generally that kind of covers it. Uh, we're good to go right there. No problem. All right. And the same thing goes with the uh, stockings here. So the stockings, we're just going to go ahead and reapply. Uh, whoops, we're going to go to the Smart Gallery and apply them from the Smart Gallery there. All right, we use the higher resolution uh, version there. Replace and fit body shape and press OK. And this time we're going to use other, okay, since the stockings are not covered by either one of these presets and press OK. All right, you can see the issue pretty much resolved. We just have a little bit of breakage on the knee there. And like you can, like I mentioned before, you can either just change the size, which is kind of the lazy man's way to do it, which is what I do all the time. Uh, I go up to conform and uh, if you increase the size by 0.1, no one's really going to notice, and uh, issue is resolved. Boom, just like that. You don't have to go through all the edit mesh stuff. All right, so there's our uh, fine-looking lady. Just uh, all the issue resolved and no mesh breakage uh, anywhere to be found. And it's as easy as that to just kind of conform and modify your CC3 content to be compatible with your CC3 Plus characters. Okay, so for this next example, we're using this uh, item here from uh, our developer Surge, uh, Barbarian Leathers, some pretty cool looking stuff. 
I'm going to go back into Character Creator 3 here and apply the uh, shirt to our character. I'm going to show you a situation where you don't want to conform to the body shape. Okay, so let's go to uh, Surge 3D Barbarian Leathers here. Let's do the high resolution one, sure. All right, so we have this Barbarian Leather kind of thing that goes on top. Now, we, if we select Fit to Body Shape on this one, you'll see what will happen. It'll look a little bit strange. Now, it doesn't really matter in this case what we choose for transfer skin weights. I can choose uh, Other, for example, and press OK. Although, I guess technically it is a shirt. But you can see what happens here is if we uh, take a look at the antlers on the shoulders, they're kind of go like grooving down. They're kind of bending downwards, uh, which actually could be okay, but it's not the way it's supposed to look. Uh, if we go back to the uh, um, image right here, you can see those antlers are supposed to be going up and it looks a lot cooler. So let's go back to uh, character creator here and I'm going to reapply this one more time. Okay, just like this. And we're going to replace everything. This time we're going to choose keep cloth shape and press OK. So that'll keep the original shape of this uh, of this item here. You can see there's a lot of, you know, poking through on the chest. And again, an easy way to resolve that is just go to Modify and Conform. And I'm kind of lazy here. I'm just going to go ahead and increase the size. And you can see as we increase the size, there we go. Kind of just, uh, we can increase it so it, you know, goes over our character's chest. It doesn't have too much space uh, between the uh, the skin and the, uh, and the item. So it's all fine and good. And honestly, increasing size is, is probably the safest way to make sure that your uh, if your character is in various different poses, that there's no mesh breakage through because there's just a, a larger space between the actual skin mesh and the clothing mesh on your character. And for an item like this, I think that works just fine. All right, so uh, that's really about all the ways that you can use uh, really quick uh, fixes you can use to uh, resolve issues when you apply your old character creator 3 or, or prior uh, clothing to CC3 plus characters. Um, just various ways you can easily conform it, calculate collision, uh, transfer skin weights and all that stuff. Um, so, you know, if one doesn't if one doesn't work at first, try the other. Try them in combination. Um, there's no real solid rule for this. Each uh, clothing item on different characters will have different, like, thousands of different scenarios. So just try all those different strategies and techniques I showed you in combination and you'll eventually get the right one. All right, so thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you learned a lot in this tutorial. And make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com. And I hope to see you in the next video.